Yo, 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 you already know who it is, the Kid Kid Hustle Man Fats. And right now I need you to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like the content, if you like the interviews. If you want more interviews with some of your favorite artists, make sure you subscribe so you can be the first person to know. For all the exclusive drops, all the exclusive interviews, and all the exclusive content, subscribe to the YouTube channel at Hustle Man Fats. And we're going up, man. All right, so everybody seen what's been going on uh, between Cassie and Diddy. And if you're a father, a son, a brother, a nephew, a cousin, a friend, a best friend, uh, you are as livid as I am. All right, so it looks like this video has been leaked some way, somehow, to CNN. Uh, this is a video of Diddy in 2016 uh, running and chasing Cassie down in a hotel, brutally assaulting her, kicking, punching, and really just, it, it just boils my blood seeing this, like, as a man, as a father, as a son, a friend, a brother, like, you should never, ever put your hands on a woman, especially in a defensive, defensive mode like that. Like, she is no way for her to defend herself, and that, that second kick just let me know everything I needed to know about Diddy. First of all, like, how the hell did he suppress this video for eight years? The video is from 2016. Well, actually, we just came out and found out what happened. Uh, Diddy paid that hotel $50,000. That's it. That's it. $50,000 to hide that video for eight years to keep his image up. This interview was sponsored by DPJ Houses. If you're looking to sell your home or you have a vacant property that you don't want anymore, but you're accumulating taxes, or if you have a mortgage on a property that you're behind on that you no longer live in, or if you might inherit a property that you just don't want anymore, someone passes away in your family. I know this is a touchy situation. Or if you may just be a tired landlord, I need you to go ahead and email my people with the address and the information at DPJ houses at gmail.com or if you don't want to email them just shoot them a text at 443-526-3369 that's vacant properties if you're behind on your mortgage or if you're a tired landlord and you don't want the property anymore dpj houses is exactly where you need to go they help you whatever you got going on they're here for you to help me personally i think everybody in that hotel who uh anybody accepted any dollars from that um incident jail anybody that uh, knew about the incident, didn't report it, jail. Anybody that was significantly close to even knowing what was going on, jail. Because that's assault on a woman at that. So you paid the hotel to keep this video for eight years, and then your son out here is, is dissing people in the world. I just want to go ahead and call it. Diddy, you're a coward. You're a coward, man. Any man that puts their hand on a woman, you're a coward. You run it down the hall in your towel, half naked. And colorful socks. Come on, man. Chasing a woman. If she wants to leave, let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Fellas, best word of advice. If she wants to leave, let her go. No money in the world or nothing in the world is going to be able to keep this woman here. She wants to go. I know all my fathers, brothers, uncles, cousins are angry out there. I think personally, me, jail is, is really like the lesser of his worries. I think the black community, we should discipline them ourselves. Go ahead, let some of the people who, who really know how to fight, you know, whoop his ass, basically. Um, that's how we used to handle things like that back in the old days. We didn't depend on the police. Uh, we need to stop depending on the jail system. If you, you know, you did something so terribly wrong like that to a woman, you should be able to get your, I want to curse so bad. You should be able to get your behind, kick up and down the street. Face, chest, bruises. It should look like you living in the 1900s. Because going to jail, first of all, it's Diddy. If he goes to jail for that right now, he probably do some like chill, like white collar type jail where nobody can really access him. You know, so he needs to be disciplined within the black community. I uh, also just want to take. I want to take this time out, honestly, to pray for for Cassie. I want to pray for all of the victims of any type of abuse, rather than be physical, emotional, mental, or even spiritual. 
Um, because I remember when Cassie first came out, it was in the air. Do we believe Cassie? Do we not believe Cassie? Um, because there was she she put out these allegations, and of course we live in a, in a world of time where we want to see video proof, or we want to actually see like the bruises pictures. Like we want to actually see that, and then Diddy Puffy, who also is a staple in our black community, sadly to say now, it's hard for you to want to believe that. So a lot of people didn't even believe her. Even after Diddy came out and paid her an undisclosed amount, um, we don't know what the amount was. We don't know if it, if it honestly was, was was worth it, but he paid her an undisclosed amount to send that case away. And I personally think when she when she took that money, that it also said like you can't really speak on these things anymore or or else basically type situation. I don't know how this got to see in there, but I still just want to make sure I let you know that all my ladies out there that I'm with you. Um, I pray for you, all victims. You know, you should never have to deal with men like that. That's another reason why I tell ladies, like, you want a man to control you with this money, and then he does things like this, and then you stay. It's not about the money, ladies. It's about how he makes you feel. And if he's a real man, that he was raised properly. Obviously, Diddy was not raised properly, man. Uh, I want to say on a jokingly matter, though, Cat Williams started all this shit. I don't know if you remember what Cat Williams said in the Shannon Shop interview. If you don't... uh. He said that in 2024, everybody, rather your T.D. Jakes, rather your Diddy, anybody that's not on God's side, um, you're going to get exposed in 2024. And now it's like everything with Diddy as far as the stuff with Young Miami, as far as the stuff with the producer, it's like you have to kind of believe some of this stuff now. This is a side of Diddy that we've never seen before, and it's out in the public. I personally think that what happened was they paid that fifty thousand dollars for that tape, and whoever that person or persons that had that tape in the hotel, they probably gave him it. You know, they probably deleted it out of the system and said he probably won the only physical copy. And the FBI, you know, the Alphabet Boys, when they raided the houses, <clears throat> when they raided the houses, I think they found this video, and they said, you know what, we're gonna leak it because. It, it it just doesn't make sense. Eight years later, Cassie got paid out. Uh, I think the producer isn't suing for, you know, of course, assault against Cassie. He's suing assault against him. And now is this leaked to CNN at that? It wasn't put on like a random Instagram page or you. This was a structured attack against him and it was sent to CNN. So that's what I think. I think that. The Alphabet Boys, they they wanted to hurt us. They wanted to hurt his uh his character. They wanted to put that out on CNN on purpose. Um, and uh, lastly, before I get out of here, a lot of you said J Cole was soft for back another battle with uh Kendrick and Drake. Drake. Well, let's be clear. J Cole is the only artist, only person I've known that has put their hands these right here, these two, on Diddy. I don't know how soft how you can call J Cole soft, but. For not wanting the lip box and rap, he put his hands on Diddy. And now, I, me personally, I don't know. Maybe Diddy did it with, with, with Tupac and Biggie now. But I do know that I am angry. I feel like these should be put on Diddy. I feel like him going to jail uh, is, the, is the easy way out. I think each and every time a black man sees Diddy, these. Because you, I mean, you have a daughter. You have a mom. You have a sister. You have a niece. You have a little cousin. You have a friend. You have a wife, you have a girlfriend, and you know what will happen if somebody put their hands on those people in your life. So, black community, stand up. You need to put these on Diddy, man. All right, I'm out of here.
Now I'm seeing that the teacher might get fired. I don't think he should get fired because there's like a literacy crisis going on. And to be honest with you, like there is so much ways now to make money. Like social media has allowed people to make money the more uh, a way easier way that there's not a lot of people that wants to become teachers. Like first of all, like and nobody want to deal with your f***ing kids. To be honest with you, like these kids nowadays, they're bad. They be hitting the teachers. They be beating the teacher. And um, as you could see in the video, you could tell that the that the girls really like their teacher so that means their classmates like their teacher and when you like your teacher it makes you want to pay attention more in class and exactly. it makes you want to do better in class like when you have a favorite teacher it encourages you to go to that class so i don't think he should get fired because he probably has a good relationship with his students and when you have a good relationship with their student it makes kids enjoy the class and it makes kids want to go to the class and that's very important we live in a time now where kids don't have no respect for their teacher they they fight their teacher, they treat their teacher as if they're scum in the earth, and the teachers are teaching the next doctors, the next lawyers, the next people that be on radio, the next people that are uh, consultation uh, advisors, the next people that do your taxes. All of these professions come from teachers, and these kids don't like to go to school. When you have a teacher who is as passionate as this young black teacher, young black male teacher at that, who is doing things positive, not only for the young woman in this class, but for the young men, you don't chastise and try to make them feel as though they're over-sexualizing their students. At the end of the day, we've all went to school. And personally, I will say, when you have a teacher that you're like, take a liking to, you enjoy their class a lot more. I've been on this TikTok. I've seen the things that he's saying. He said that, the kids love him so much that he literally has to kick uh, the students out of his class because they don't want to leave because he's such an enjoyable teacher. Some of the students are uh, consider him his favorite teacher. So why are we trying to kick this young black male out of the school system? There hasn't been a report saying that his test scores are low. There hasn't been a report saying that he's a distraction to the, to the school or the students. There hasn't been a report that says the curriculum isn't being done, but because this video is on Instagram. Everybody's creating these think pieces and don't really want to look deep into what's going on and go into these comments and see these parents and some of the kids that were actually in the video who are being affected by seeing their favorite teacher being drugged through the mud on social media in the comments, arguing and fighting for their teacher because they want him to come back to school. Guys, we have to do better. We have to do better. If not, we're going to lose a lot of our teachers out here. Because they're just going to be so afraid of social media and what is socially correct versus doing the right things and raising your child. These people you send your child to school with are probably with your children more than the parents are, to be honest with you. Your child goes to school from 8 p.m., 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You probably get your child from 5 to 9 in the evening and it's time for them to go to bed. And they start a new cycle over again for five days a week. If these parents trust this teacher, I don't understand why people are trying to overly sexualize this situation in any manner. If he does lose his job, I don't know what will rectify that because that's his livelihood. That's how he pays his bills. That's the things that he does to take care of his family. But a lot of people are in the comments not even thinking about that. They just want to put this black man down. Again, if this was a woman, if this was a uh, a, a young man, give him a lineup. We wouldn't have these issues. And I think you guys should stop sexualizing this guy. Go to his page and check him out and see what he's about. He's a great science teacher. All the parents and for the for the parents that do not want their kids on his social sites. He respects that. They're not there. There's an understanding between him and the parents. There's an understanding between him and the administrative system. Guys. Go to his page, check him out, see what he's doing. He's also a soccer coach for the young men. He's uh, allowed, he has five sisters, he said. He's allowed some of his students to do his nails as well. Just check him out, man. Do better, do better, do better. If not, I don't know who's going to be teaching these kids at the end of the day because people are just going to be so scared to get these jobs. They're not even paying no money. And I'm out of here, man. I appreciate you.